has been four months since Russia invaded Ukraine, and during that time, thousands of foreign soldiers have joined the fight against Russian forces. Our correspondent Olga Malchevska gained access to one of the secret training bases for the International Legion in eastern Ukraine. Days after the Russian attack on Severodonetsk that took the life of a second British soldier, thousands of foreigners are still fighting. Here, in one of Ukrainian regions, we were given access to one of the secret bases of the Foreign Legion fighting here in Ukraine. The latest recruits are being welcomed by their commander. And I hope you will stay here to protect Ukraine, to fight for Ukraine, to kill Russian by your rifle. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm more determined than ever to stand up and fight for this beautiful country. Are you scared? No. Soldiers from over 50 countries have different motivations for risking their lives. It's not just for Ukraine, it's also for Taiwan because I come here for the independence and the freedom. We are fighting for the, the democracy of this world against a dictator. If I'm alive, I'm going to stay until this war ends. Del Maggi has been here for several months. Before coming to Ukraine, he had served in the British Army for four years. I was actually at work with my dad. I turned around to him and I went, Dad, I'm going. His battalion has been involved in the fighting and four men have been killed since the beginning of the war. The possibility of dying out here is probably on everyone's mind here. But I personally, I came out to help and if I die whilst doing so, that's it. The International Legion is part of Ukrainian armed forces. All the soldiers here have official contracts, but all the top positions are taken by Ukrainians. Oleg shows me the battalion's bunker, originally built to protect Ukrainians from Nazi Germany during the Second World War. Now it protects Ukrainians from Russia. This is our weapon storage for ammunition, M16s, Kalashnikovs, sniper rifles, grenades. Javelins, the anti-tank missiles, are also at their disposal. However, some recruits are not satisfied with the weapons they've been given. A lot of the supplies that are being sent through into Ukraine are going to, like, you know, the Ukrainian government in general and being distributed out. And I think the legions on the bottom of the list they want to supply with gear, unfortunately. So I think we just get whatever's left. The spokesman of the Foreign Legion denies this and says that all the soldiers' weapons are just as good as those given to the Ukrainian army. As the new recruits are dismissed with fresh orders, they are well aware that this may be the last moment they are together, but they are ready to serve till the end. Olga Malchevska, BBC News, Eastern Ukraine.